Hello my lovelies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, my lips are so <laughs> dry. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can click the subscribe button and stay for a while. I upload three times a week. Get ready with me, so shop my stash, turn on your makeup. If it's beauty or makeup related, I will be posting it. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell from the title of the video, we're going to get ready using some makeup I forgot about. I feel like I am reviewing so much new makeup. Well, it's not as much as it used to be, but I'm still reviewing and trying out new makeup that I'm purchasing that I tend to forget a lot of my other makeup items in my collection. Not on purpose, not because they're not good. I just have so much makeup and I try to use the newer items as much as I can when I first get them, just so that I make sure I know exactly how I feel about them whenever I talk about them again or feature them on my channel. It just a lot of older makeup gets forgotten. That's what we're doing today. Okay, let's get started. All right, my lovelies, hair is pulled back. Primers are already on. I'm pretty good at rotating my primers. I also don't have too many primers in my collection. I try to limit how many I purchase. So I'm pretty good at rotating them, especially off camera. I went into the Ordinary Milky Toner, the Gucci Matte Primer for my T-Zone and a Rare Beauty Primer. I forget which one it is, but it's the glowy one for the perimeters of my face. Okay, so for foundation, I recently did a declutter for the foundations, which I need to continue that series. I have so much that I need to do. <laughs> so I'm pretty aware of all the foundations that I have in my collection, and they're all foundations that I absolutely adore. For today, I pulled out the NARS. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation, and this is the shade Stromboli, which is M3. This is a beautiful foundation. The only con that I have to say about this foundation and any NARS foundation really is that they run pretty yellow when it comes to the undertones. So I have a very hard time finding an exact shade for myself. Uh, I purchased this when this foundation first launched, however many years ago, and very lightly, it looks decent with my skin tone, but if I build this up too much, I look yellow, sickly <laughs> yellow. And I'm not gonna buy two foundations to mix. That's just, no, I already own enough foundations. Okay, this is the Makeup Forever 109 brush. This is a beautiful, and I do mean beautiful foundation. It works on most skin types. NARS is amazing. NARS is definitely an it brand for many, many amazing reasons. And this foundation exceeds those expectations. Okay. See how beautiful my skin looks? Very much like my skin. Okay, for concealer, I pulled out a drugstore concealer. Unfortunately, I feel like drugstore makeup definitely gets the back burner. It's not on purpose because the drugstore has so many amazing products. But yeah, the L'Oreal True Match Radiant Serum Concealer. This is actually a really good concealer and I think Angelica Nickvist really enjoys this concealer. So I purchased this one because the doe foot looked very familiar. It was either to the, I must have been the YSL because I don't think I have the Givenchy concealer. Yeah, so the doe foot reminded me a lot of the YSL. I'm pretty sure it's the YSL. So I thought, well, maybe they're trying to dupe that concealer. Um, I wouldn't say it's an exact dupe, but they do perform very similarly. So if you enjoyed the YSL, you will definitely enjoy this one. Ooh, what shade do I have? This is shade Light Medium W4. Okay, I can't remember if this is a Ch Chikuhoto or a Kyudo brush, but I always link the exact items that I use down in the description box, and that goes for absolutely everything. The shades I use, yeah, everything. And this is a really, really, really nice 
concealer. It sinks right into your skin. It's, it's a lovely, lovely concealer. Okay, skin is looking fabulous, which is just further proving my point that I didn't forget about the, these items because they're not good. I just have so much makeup. <laughs> Okay, for cream products, I pulled out this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. And yeah, I just, I have so much, so much makeup that I forgot about this. Uh, Sunbeam 03, recently Morgan Turner and um, Tara Lynn did a video, a full face of Laura Mercier, and I remembered, oh yeah, I have that bronzer. <laughs> I cannot remember if this bronzer dries down really really quick and that's why um i don't think i give it that i honestly don't remember it's been a minute since i've used it but i cannot remember the review that i gave this but so far right now it's actually working very nicely and the tone also looks very nicely this is a bk beauty and nikki brush the n15 Okay, that actually looks beautiful. Okay, as far as cream blush, Make Beauty. That's what I pulled out. Swelter, I think is the name of the tone that I have. I feel Make Beauty is such an underrated brand. I enjoy everything that I have tried from the brand, including some of their skincare. Uh, Makeup by Mario F4. I just put it on the back of my hand. So I didn't forget because it's not a good product. I just, I have so much. And also I'm sure the way that I store my makeup right now because I've just been procrastinating <laughs> at getting the beauty room ready. <laughs> Everything is still like in cases. So it's not like it's out in the open, you know? Make Beauty is a beautiful brand. Okay, but do you see that? So pretty. Okay, the two powders I pulled out, one for my under eyes, and that is from NARS, the Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. I have the shade Translucent, I'm sure. I love this powder. It is absolutely beautiful. It does have a very, and I wish you could see it, super slight sheen to the powder, but it's so, like micro microscopic that i personally don't mind it but i know there are some people out there that don't enjoy this powder for that particular reason for me it it doesn't bother me this is such a finely milled powder it is so soft so translucent it just works absolutely amazing for my under eyes it's not that i forgot about it it's that it was just put in the drawer and went all the way to the back because I was trying out other powders for my under eyes. There's not too many under eye powders that I absolutely love. I would definitely say this one for sure is top five. Okay, and this one, I just forgot about it because it was all the way in the back of the drawer. <laughs> it's from KVD. It is the translucent setting powder, the locket powder. Um, I don't know if they have multiple shades in this. I honestly cannot remember. I have a mini because I don't need a full size. <laughs> and I do enjoy this. I remember when I first tried this, performing so good. So I'm hoping performs great today too this is i think this one is the Cayudo powder brush might not be a powder brush it might just be like a packing brush but i'm using it for powder all right i went ahead and primed my eyes and we'll continue with the rest of the face once i'm done with the eyes i have so many palettes there's a lot of them that i forget about i do think about the eyeshadow palettes that i do own in my collection pretty frequently just because there's so much makeup being released, so many palettes being released that I like usually tell myself, okay, do you already have something in your collection that looks similar to that? But it is inevitable. I have so much makeup that I do forget about a lot of my palettes. But for this video, I decided to pull out this Vive palette and this is the Nine Tees palette and it's a cool tone palette, which is crazy because 
I don't normally gravitate towards cool tones, but this is what I decided to pull out today. So we're gonna create an eye look. I'll probably speed through that and then we'll continue with the face. Let's start with Soot. B5 from Blend Bunny. Low rise. Moda 466. This brush is sold out. Anytime I try to link it, it shows sold out. Okay, that's what it's looking like. And now I think I'm gonna jump into, let's do phase. This is my T4 from Sonia Chi, and that's gonna go right here. And I'm gonna connect it to that low rise. This almost looks... Okay, there is only three shimmers to pick from. This one, this one, and this one. Gosh, which one did I use last time? Was it Acid Wash or VHS? Let me use VHS and a tiny bit of this one, which is Dial Up. So VHS first. And these shimmers are not like Bella Beauty Bar, Wicked Widow, those kind of shimmers. These are soft. At least the ones from this palette. Okay, now Dial Up. Okay, and for my inner corner, I am gonna use the lightest matte, which is called Skimp. This is a B3 from Blunt Bunny. Okay, this is what the eyes are looking like. I did take out a single shadow from Moira. This is the Lucent Cream Shadow. Zero to Infinity is the tone. Uh, Elf just came out with very similar ones, but I feel like this eye look needs a tiny bit more sparkle. Well, it does need it. I want it. <laughs> and I always forget about my single shadows. I always forget about my single shadows because I always just go for a palette, you know? So I figured this one was perfect. Anyways, I have a little bit of NYX glitter glue and I'm just gonna lightly dip some of this shimmer. It's like a topper more than anything. So it's just gonna amp up what I already have also pretty you see that beautiful okay eyebrows are already done i own four or five eyebrow pencils so it's very hard for me to forget about any of them <laughs> okay for bronzer the charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer in shade two you would think this is so big how can i forget about this bronzer <laughs> Again, I have so many bronzers. This is the TF1 from Sonia G. This is actually a very pretty bronzer. Looks beautiful on the skin. I do have to build this tone up a tiny bit. I kind of wish that she would expand the shade range on this because I feel like so many people already love this formula, but the tones, the shades, there's just not enough of them. I think she needs to extend at least by two. One more light tone and one that's definitely a lot darker than what she has to offer. Okay, for blush, I took out this Dose of Colors blush, uh, the Truffle blush. There was a whole collection and this is the only tone of blush that came out with that collection. <sighs> is that the name? truffle yeah there's no way this is gonna work on every single skin tip <laughs> but it is pretty i do remember enjoying it this is the tf3 from sonia g i don't think i've bought anything from dose of colors since this truffle collection it's pretty but can definitely for sure see why I forgot about this one because I have so many other 
amazing blushes in my collection. Okay, I did go into mascara and set my eyebrows. I went into the Lancome Tint Ito Mascara and mixed the What's Up Beauty with it. I go through my mascaras. I don't like to have more than three open at once. So I typically have like three or four. And then once I get down to like one or two, then that's when I purchase more mascara. I don't have a ton of mascaras. And then for the eyebrows, I went into the Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel. Also another item that I own that I don't own too many of. Yeah. Okay. Highlighter from Rose Ink. So I don't know if the brand itself is going to close. And I only say that because everything is on sale at Sephora. Like 50% off. Almost everything is gone already. And I don't see the brand posting much. They haven't launched anything new since their last launch, which I don't even remember what it is. Maybe the eyeshadow duos? No, the found, I don't know. So I don't know what's gonna happen to the brand as a whole because uh, Rosie did sell the brand. She is no longer a part of it. Um, but this is the cream highlighter in opalescent. This is one of my absolute favorite cream highlighters you could tell that this is very very loved it's just such a beautiful formula and i'm kind of scared that the brand is going to go away <laughs> because it's definitely a favorite a lot from the brand i enjoy the concealer the foundation this highlighter the cream blush the cream bronzer like so much from the brand that i enjoy so i'm hoping that it's not gonna go away, but it it just might. This is the 113 from BK Beauty. And as you could see, it's a very, very natural kind of highlighter. You see that? Oh. Okay, for lips, I pulled out some Anastasia products. They launched like one or two years ago, lip liners and lipsticks. And I feel like they haven't really been talked much about them. The lip liners, for sure, I have heard a couple name as their favorites. This is Raisin, and it's like a burgundy brown kind of shade. But it's really, really pretty. The formula is really nice, too. And then the lipsticks. I have two, but this is the first one I found. Taupe Beige. This formula is like a creamy matte. It's not super drying and it does have just the slightest bit of, not glossiness, but almost like a lipstick and balm hybrid. It's a really nice formula. Taupe Beige looks really nice. Raisin lip liner. Okay, let me fix everything and I'll be right back. All right, my lovelies, this is what the full completed face looks like. I think everything looks beautiful. Skin looks gorgeous, cheeks, eyes, lips. I'm definitely getting 90s vibes from this, right? <laughs> All right, my lovelies, that's going to be it for this video. Please make sure to pull out any of the makeup items that I did use in today's video and you own and use them. Also, look through your makeup collection and see if there are any makeup products that you completely forgot about or maybe got pushed all the way to the back of your drawer. Um, this is me doing you a favor and reminding you to go do that. Okay. <laughs> um, I enjoy the makeup. I think everything looks absolutely beautiful. Like I have mentioned and keep mentioning. I didn't forget about these items because they are not good items. I just have so much makeup. That's why I forgot about them. But as you can see, the results are absolutely stunning and I need to do this more often. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, every little thing that you do for my channel. I appreciate it so, so much. With that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye.